Welcome back to China Price Watch. In today's Money Matters, we're talking about leftover luxury goods at Chinese factories. The huge price differences between the real luxury goods and those available online are pretty suspect. And this is for good reason. According to many market insiders, the real leftover luxury products from these China-based factories are very rare and hard to find on the market. For a single design, most international brands normally order at most several thousand products. And because of the strict control of the materials, one order of 2,000 products can only provide for less than 100 extras. That's only if the manufacturer fastidiously planned how to use the scraps. The only obvious way to get a large number of leftover goods is if the whole batch is rejected by the brands. Otherwise, there would only be a handful made available. It's almost impossible to get the goods of all the same design and materials from a single factory. This brings us to our problem of fakes. Most online stores sell hundreds of goods that they say are coming directly from the factory. But of course, it's too good to be true. Most of the products sold online are just high quality counterfeits. According to Market Insiders, by pretending that the goods are leftovers from contracted factories, sellers can profit over 200% by selling the fakes. One warehouse holding a huge number of luxury products was investigated by the local police in Jiangsu, a province in the southeast of China. This was a warehouse used for storing luxury goods from nearly 70 different international brands. Chen Yang is a policeman who investigated the case. These Hermes jeans sell for at least $1,000 at the franchise stores. Under the name of leftover products from a Hermes factory, the e-store can sell it for a discount of 80 to 90 percent off. However, there are no factories producing Hermes in China. The label says that made in China just makes it even more fake. It does not prove that it's sourced from Chinese factories. Most online stores selling luxury products are just counterfeits like these. Even though China has been home to the factories of many international brands, a large number of products are still produced outside of China. The sellers are just taking advantage of assumptions made by consumers who think they can find these deals online. Most well-known luxury brands are well aware of the outflow of their products in China. Brands have tried to minimize risk by keeping strict supervision of their factories. When defective or leftover products are finding their way to markets, the factory could be fined or even lose their contract. Therefore, surplus luxury products from these contracted factories can be very hard to find in Chinese markets. By exploiting the assumption that there are a lot of luxury goods leaking out of factories, stores are making huge profits by selling counterfeits in China. Even though many consumers realize the products are fake, there is still an enthusiastic demand for products that look like luxury goods. An entirely separate market has been made very real in the creation of fakes. As intellectual property laws are highly debatable, there is certainly very real room for fakes to make money. Don't go away, because up next for a question of the day, we'll hear Beijinger's thoughts on leftover luxury goods. Stay tuned.